It is your destiny. Fuck my destiny. What's the name of the game that we are playing? But whenever I think that we are winning, then you roll the dice. Take a slide right back to the one from 99. Is it gonna go on like this forever? Are we gonna take that last step together? Going round and round and up and down. Feels just like snakes and ladders. Baby, don't it feel like a... Hello, I'm Jashikins, and this is Balthazar, and this is... Rev Reznor. And this is... Jerry. <laughs> and we're here reviewing The World's End, the newest Simon Pegg and Nick Frost movie, and, you know, since it's a drinking movie... She's gonna drink. She's going to shrink. Saki. Correct question. It's basically the sake that's in every fucking restaurant. But, anyways, The World's End is about Simon Pig's character sort of trying to reconnect with life, find me in life, and. But they graduated their form of high school, uh, whatever they call it over there. They, uh, Went on, you know, they were in a little town, a little crap old town. They were the big kids on campus, and they were little troublemakers in town and stuff. They were always doing stuff. They're people that everybody kind of wanted to be the cool kids, not the jocks, but the other ones. And, and Simon Pegg's character, uh, last name King, was the king, whatever. Oh, yeah. And he's the guy, Gary King, Gary King who uh, never grew up. He, he, he dresses in the exact same outfits, uh, same exact piece of shit car he had back then, and uh, you know, still drinks just as much. He, his life's gone nowhere. Never really had a job. He's he's just one of those pathetic people. And um, everybody else's life's moved on. You know, they 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 were successful. They got real jobs, and you know, they're they're humans. And uh, it starts out with Simon Pegg in what is obviously a rehab facility and a, a group talking. And he's talking about the... the Golden Mile. The Golden Mile. Where you had It's just all the 12. different pubs, 12 different pubs, I think. And, and the point of the thing is that everybody needs a drink of beer at every single one before a certain time in the evening. And uh, they, they didn't quite make it. They made it three quarters of the way the first time, you know, when they tried this. They lost people along the way. <laughs> Simon Pegg punches the wall, you know, and uh, has sex with one of his, the, his mate's sister. It, it, it's pretty fucked up. So, uh, you know, it's it's not uncommon for things that most, I mean, at least that I did when I was younger. I did. So... You know, he decides that he's tired of living in this rehab facility, that he's going to get the band back together. He goes along and he goes one by one and picks them all up and talks them back into doing this again. Except for Nick Frost's char uh, character, who uh, had a bit of an incident that they just hint at most of the time, which is... Uh, they were in a car accident. Uh, Nick Frost is driving under the influence because he was trying to get uh, Simon Pegg to the hospital because he had ODed. And it turns out that Simon Pegg was just fucking with him. No, he, he was, he was, I think he was having a No, they mentioned, they mentioned that, you know. He walked away from it and he just left him in the hospital and they hadn't seen each other really since. Yeah. So, they and, stopped being friends. Yeah, and uh, Martin Freeman is in yet another role where he's being pulled into something he doesn't want to be. <laughs> Martin Freeman, of course, uh, he plays John Watson in BBC Sherlock, which I will get to in the future, I promise, and also is playing Bilbo Baggins in the Hobbit trilogy, so it was really nice for me personally seeing him again. Sheldon, how do you feel about the movie? Sheldon was supposed to go with us in the movie, but somehow he got left at home. Because someone forgot to bring him. Are you sitting on your pillow with my candy? Probably got to see jobs. He slept through it. 
<laughs> and plus, trust me, Jaws was in a fucking good movie at all. Or shelf. <laughs> Product placement. <laughs> so, they go back to uh, their home town. He convinces them all somehow. Oh, Gary King is never, ever wrong. No matter oh, what's going fuck. on, he's going to always be right. You can't argue with him. So that's why they all ended up the uh, translation. He ended up uh, convincing at least Nick Frost's character by saying, Oh, my mom died, right. and here's Ongoing the money lie, back. Right. And so what's funny, you find out that one, his mom isn't dead. Two, he, he borrowed, borrowed the money from the restaurant to pay back Nick Frost. <laughs> and uh, so just, you know, nothing's changed. He still owes it. He's just the same person. He's just a dumbass. So they get pulled over on their way into town. And, you know, we find out that the one guy who, who his father sells BMWs and Mercedes, whatever, um, you know, back in the day, he owned a smaller, crappy car lot, and he sold King his car, Seven Peg his car. Okay, well, he never changed the registration from the car from his friend's name <laughs> to his for two decades later, you know. Um, and uh, so he gives him his friend's name and everything, you know, that's why he never gets in trouble for uh, for getting pulled over all the time. And uh, he looks back at his friend's like, didn't you ever wonder where all those points were coming from in your license? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so, you know, they get pulled over or whatever. The guy says, don't get in too much trouble with the pub crawl or whatever. And they go back into town and they start right up. And nobody really recognizes them, which they should. Um, even the old stoner guy who is a shitty, who spent a lot of time with them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they move on to a couple bars, you know. And the funny, because every time they go to a bar, it looks identical to the first bar. I mean, the writing on the wall, everything. Nothing really changes except some of the patrons. And that's the joke is, that's how boring this town is and modernized that everything is a copycat of everything. So... Yeah. And what eventually brought up is that the residents are mostly robots, and there's a whole right. sort of joke throughout the movie of saying, oh, we're not robots, because robots mean slaves. Mm -hmm. No. No, that's... No. They're robots. <laughs> They're fucking robots. Yeah, you know, what it is is Simon Pegg tries to bang his friend's sister again, because she's, you know, came at least she was lives in town or something. And, uh... He falls into the bathroom and she says no, whatever. So he ends up in the bathroom later when he, his friends are all telling him he's a dumbass, he's a loser, or whatever. And they don't want to do the pub crawl anymore. So he goes in the bathroom to punch the wall and there's still a spot there. And he goes to take a piss and there's a bottle of urine. And this kid walks in, totally ignoring him and him talking about how he used to be the king and this and that, which any of us would have done. Some guy's talking to you while you're holding your dick at the urinal <laughs> and he keeps looking over at you. That's just creepy. Eyes for it, people. Eyes for it. Have you had any experiences like that? Yes. Especially in bars. So, he ends up pushing the kid and trying to stop him. And the kid says, don't do that. You really shouldn't do that. And he starts beating the shit out of Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg accidentally kills the kid. Who is actually? A robot. His head, come, his head comes off is what happens. <laughs> Hits his head on the arm and it comes off. Everybody comes in. They start. There's a dead body on the floor. The bathroom is trashed. And Simon, uh, Nick Frost comes in and starts fucking yelling about his mom not being dead. Everybody else is standing there. They, they have walked over a body yeah. and within the head. And they have no, nothing to say about it. It goes on for about eight minutes of them yelling at him. And he's trying to say that he's killed somebody like as if they didn't notice. They don't care. They're so pissed yeah. at him for a long But then a bunch of other robots come. Right. And then it's like... I did, guy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the fight continues, and they they just barely win. And that's, you know, the whole time, Simon, or Nick Frost character won't drink anymore. He hasn't drank since that night with the accident, you know, 20 years ago, whatever. So, after they kill all these teenage robots, they're covered with, they have blood on their hand, more like ink, 
we have ink on our hands. <laughs> you know, they, uh, Simon Pegg goes, well, what should we do? Or one of the guys says, yeah, what and should we do? The thing is, Nick, after this whole fight window, obviously there are robots and that should be the bigger concern. Immediately after the fight, Nick Frost's character starts beating up Simon Pegg for lying about his mom. Mm -hmm. Anyways, when they go back to the table, so, uh, Nick Frost's character immediately starts downing this entire plate of shots <laughs> from the whole table. Yeah. And from that point on, Nick Frost is a badass in this movie. He kills more robots than anybody throughout the damn movie. You know, and, um, let's see here, uh, there's a lot of, if you're a fan of Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, there is uh, a lot of running jokes and all, you know, and a lot of things that they do. Like whenever they get in the car, the seat belts, they follow the seat belts from each person's buckle in. You know, they have a lot of repeating character, you know, people that are in their movies. Um, this case is Dad from Shaun of the Dead is the robot god voice, whatever, the commanding voice. Um, you know, there's uh, the Cornettos. In Shaun of the Dead, you know, uh, Nick Frost is always eating these Cornettos and... In all their movies, in different ones, he's eating a different flavor. And I guess there's three or four flavors. And this movie, near the end, is the last hit to it. Because, you know, he had not he had mentioned that none of them had eaten processed food in years. You know, they're all trying to eat healthy. And once the, the everything is over and everything, he talks about, you know, you hear his voice is narrating at the end of the movie. And uh, he says, I don't miss any processed food, just some. And all of a sudden... The final flavor of Cornetto's, a rapper, hits up on the fence and he crabs at it and, you know, it's gone. So, a lot of running Shaun of the Dead gags, you know, a lot of, uh, even the, the the girl zombie from the first, uh, from Shaun of the Dead, the first one that they killed, she's one of the barmaids in, the, in the, one of the bars and stuff like that. Everything is connected. They use a lot of the same jokes. Um, same shot style, you know, the zooming in and all that. And, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, before the actual action starts, I like when they walk by what turns out to be another robot, mm -hmm. and they're, then they make a joke, you know, about modern art. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's this big statue. It's supposed to be a monument, modern art. And then later, that modern art comes alive, and it's like <laughs> the controller for all the robots, and it tries to kill them. And they're like, fuck modern art, I fucking hate art. <laughs> Yeah, but the, at the end of the movie, warning, there's spoilers, this is a well, fucking yeah, vlog. Spoilers, <laughs> so. And at the end of the movie, it's equal parts really, really fucking hilarious, but at the same time, really heartbreaking at the same time, because Simon, I mean, yay, the robots left, the, it's... The after the end of the world, mm -hmm. and Simon Pegg is still a fucking teenager because the before... young versions of them. There's robot versions of them that they run into of their teenage selves, and then the you know and he kills himself his his younger version of him because he says there's only one fucking king, nobody copies or tells me what to do. So then in the movie, you know it's a world where racism has changed different. It's from humans and robots. So he goes into a bar with his robot entourage because obviously everybody else said fuck you, and um, that was enough for them. And you know he goes and he starts a fight because back you know at this point people don't drink liquor they drink water, <laughs> and uh, um, or I don't know maybe they do. He oh he, maybe it's because he's sober he went in. Yeah, he the, that's the only thing waters. that's changed. Yeah. He's but he's carrying a fucking sword, Lancelot sword in his back and shit, and they go in there and they start killing people. But um, the whole reason that the robots gave up, and this is the best. Oh, part, that's fucking. Is weird. like we said, you know, there's almost one point in the movie where he admits that he's wrong once. They're in the the.